Hi guys, old man Chris again. Uh, another small project. They're all small these days. Well, ostensibly small, but in fact it turned out to be a pain in the butt uh, for several reasons. Partly because the material I used was just not very pleasant. <laughs> As I mentioned later, I don't know what the hell it is. Was. Uh, anyway, just making a simple device to mount to Jacob's chuck in the mill to uh, make it easier to hand tap. Uh, I don't power tap a lot in the mill, strains the poor little machine, but if I can get a good square start by hand I can either finish it in situ or uh, take it off to the bench. Um, some clips at the early part if I remember rightly, my stupid old head gets in the way, which I try to avoid, but I, <laughs> I still did it. <laughs> and uh, later on I had some closer shots of the 3 8 I was using for a handle and the damn focus hadn't locked properly, so apologies for that. I try very hard to get nice crisp focus. It usually works nowadays, I've got the hang of it, but uh, Every now and again it just slightly misses, so sorry about that. <laughs> um, also the clips are sort of spread out over, I don't know, three days, maybe more, I can't remember now. I just picked at it and uh, I'm probably guilty of repetition, verbal repetition of certain things, so <laughs> uh, sorry about that. If it applies, it may not be that obvious, but I, I, I tend to forget what I said on a previous clip and then say the same stupid thing again. Anyway, that's it. Um, let's get cracking. Well, another mini project here. It's what I'm doing these days, is little bits and pieces, but here's a chuck. It's on an R8, I don't use it very much because it was the, it's an import one. But the one thing that I thought of using it for was, uh, was tapping, probably in the mill, or the, well this one would be in the mill. And I think the diameter on another one is the same round here. Anyway, this is 37 and a half mil seems to be, I guess it's probably metric, and that comes out at, uh, just checking my notes here, it comes out at uh, 1.4765 actually in the book, but it mics up at uh, 1.478. And anyway, the idea simply is to make a collar to go around here with probably about a four, four or five inch handle threaded into the collar ring and with a, an end turned down to be a, a good fit in the chuck key hole there. And the idea is, and I forget who, who showed it, yeah I cannot remember cannot remember right now. I can see the guy describing it and I can't remember who it was. Sorry about that because I, I like to uh, give credit for things but anyway all it, all it was was just this collar and the handle to go through and you just slip the collar on, put the handle in and then turn it under control to get your tap through. The reason I like that is that I don't want to be having to um, risk power tapping all the time in the mill and it would be a matter of moments to put that collar on particularly with an awkward possibly rather large tap. Anyway that's enough waffle there. Uh, I wanted a piece of Two inch round, this is the closest I've got, two and a quarter. Pretty messy. I've got some of the corrosion off and I've just 
turned that down very slightly to get a clean clean finish on it. This material didn't centre up terribly well but that doesn't matter this is the bit I'm interested in. It's going to take another tenth hour off it I think. I have no idea what material this is, <laughs> it's as usual, as usual. Huh. Leaving quite a bit of machining marks on there. Anyway, not to worry, the main thing is I've got to bore the damn thing out. Because I couldn't find any suitable tube, I called in at my a guy now in a local machine shop to see if he had anything. All he had was some very nice quality bronze <laughs> which would cost an arm and a leg. Just get a uh, I'm going to drill the I actually only need, I think, what was it, um, I only need three quarter, so I'm probably going to drill down and bore somewhere close to an inch, give me plenty of leeway for when I part off. Right, I'm trying to put something bigger in. I don't like going too big on here. As long as I can get a boring bar in, we'll do the rest that way. But <clears throat> very hard to go straight up to an inch. Just uh, not enough rigidity to get it started. I think we got to depth on that. I'll just check. Ah, well, guys, I forget where I left this. <clears throat> I've been mess. I've been out of the shop and come back in. I've had some problems. Trying to use some. I've started using a boring bar, but uh, I was having a hell of a problem with larger drills. So in the end, I, I think I went was going up to three quarter, and it was nasty and this is not nice material it's one of those I just don't know what the hell it is it's not very well behaved at all so anyway what happened was I think during the uh, introduction of the three-quarter it allowed it to shift ever so slightly in the chuck and I thought oh god here we go <laughs> so, so back to the drawing board here really I have machined all the way down to here because I'm going to put uh, a fixed steady on. Now by many people's standards this isn't a big piece of material. For me on this machine it is fairly big and it's heavy. The chuck's got a good bite on it and I'd already faced off the back end. So I've got it running pretty good on centre now but because of this overhang Although a boring bar isn't exerting a lot of force in there, I thought, well, I'll play safe, plus the fact that I'm going to want to part off <laughs> just a three-quarter inch section eventually. So I'm going to set up the uh, steady, give myself a little bit more stability there. 
Okay, well, we got this set up, got all the wheels contacting there. I put a chip guard up, a bit crude, but it'll stay put, I think. And uh, I'm going to start taking some cuts on the bore. There's an awful long way to go yet, and if I can get a bigger boring bar in later, I will. So I just have to take it a bit steady. It's a lot of material to move, which I knew it was going to be. That's why I said I wish I could have found some thick wall tube. <laughs> Uh, anyway, this um, this boring bar, which is quite old, serves very well. But uh, this slightly weird material, I'm only taking small cuts, 10th hour. I've just got to do the patient way. It doesn't like too heavy a cut. You might see in here also, there's a lot of machining marking. It's uh, sort of slightly stringy stuff. Anyway, I've got another boring bar ready. I've ground a, a tool for it. I can't really use it yet. I'm going to have to get this out quite a bit more. I'm not even sure where I've got to, to be honest. Oops, just get a rough idea. Oh, as John Mills would say, bastard. Yeah, we're coming up towards an inch. So there's still quite a bit to go, so I'll run a couple of passes on camera and then I'll just plod on with it. You don't want to watch all of the boring boring. <laughs> It tends to squeak a bit on the way out because effectively with this bar there's a slight spring cut on the return so take it fairly slow. Alright, I'm going to plod on with this till I can get the uh, larger boring bar in use. So we've got a quick grind on some 516 HSS. Got that set up in this boring bar, which is a beat up old thing, but it's better than that other small one. So, we're just going to press on, keep taking cuts. I'm still going to take fairly small cuts, I think. Let's see how we go. Okay, <clears throat> got a ways to go yet, so talk amongst yourselves, <laughs> and I'll press on, we're up to about, I don't know what I'm up to now, uh, probably about 1.1 inch, something like that, got about another, well in terms of cut depth, another 150 thou or more. Oh my, you know how some jobs, even the simplest, don't seem to go right. I think Murphy's playing, paying a visit. This uh, big old bar, I used a bit of, as a piece of 5 sixteenths HSS, 8% cobalt, supposedly. And, uh, <coughs> Bugger wore out. <laughs> he just wasn't coping. 
and this this bar which you can now see slightly smaller bar but it's a good quality bar and uh, uh, it's not coping too bad there's a slight mark on there but it seems to be making a cut so I'm going to carry on <laughs> I've got uh, oh, 146 to go on the radius very tedious Well, it's not doing too bad. I dare say it needs freshened up. I think there's actually just a slight slight mark on the end there. I'll just put a stone on that and then carry on. In fact, I'll probably I may well finish soon. The old right hip's going Carry wampus on me at the moment. I've been standing a bit too long, so let's see how we go for a little bit longer. Uh, a couple more cuts before I quit, and I'll finish it off tomorrow or whenever. <laughs> Well, the tool's holding up fairly well, but seems to give a hell of a cut on the return. And yet the grind should be pretty good. Anyway, although we're still getting machining marks on this weird material, uh, at least it's not the sort with gas pockets. <laughs> to, to those who know what I mean. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what it is. I wish I did. Let's see where we're at. There we are. One point three oh six. So we're getting there. About another hundred and thirty to go on diameter. All right, that's it. I'll see you in the next session. Well, here we are, another day. Let's see what we can do to move this on a bit. I've only got about 85,000 to go on the radius. So I'll take, uh, still stick to 10,000 cuts, I think. This is a rather bitty video in terms of when I'm shooting it, so I'm hoping the continuity is not too awful. So let's take another cut here and then we'll come back when I'm nearer the end. Let's wind on 10 anyway. Let's see. That should. Oh, yeah, I haven't got my air on. Let's go and put the air on in a minute. And you see where we've got. That should be. It should be another 20 thou. Yep, all right. I'll be back when we get close to the end. Right, I've only got 7,000 cuts to go, so what I'm going to do is take a 5 and uh, see what's left, which should be just a couple of thou, so probably want to make it half a thou or so bigger than needed.
taking a fairly slow return on that in case there's a little bit of a spring cut. There shouldn't be much because this is fairly fairly rigid and it's not actually hypercritical although I'd like to get it right. Right, bear with me. Right, it looks as though, yes, 007, so 007. So I think we'll take, uh, I'll take three and then just hopefully a finishing pass. I tend to do it gradually, having taken all this time to get rid of all this damn material. <laughs> to go through quite as slow as I meant to. Let's see. Well, that might do it. That might do it, although I don't want it to be too tight. And I haven't got any chamfer on that as yet. That's uh, that's pretty close. Something's just a little bit tight, although it's been deburred round the edge. Oh, I don't know. There might be a slight burr on there. I'll just stone that a bit and check it again. I think what I'll try and do is take. Best I can, considering I don't have a DRO on here. I'll just take one light dry cut of a half thou if it'll take it. Looked slightly more generous than a half thou. And there might have been a little bit of spring cut left, actually. There we go. Just a little bit of movement. Bear in mind, this is not meant to be a perfect fit. He wants to go on easily. Yep, that's okay. Oh dear, all that damn material. So, I think we can probably, if I bring this back, if I can come back far enough. Let's see if I can move my stop block. I think that'll work. Yeah, I'll just give that a touch. I think that's all we need, really. Got a chamfer on there. Let's set that up and just give that a kiss. All right. Now I've set up and part this thing off. Now I've got the saddle locked. It could be I should put a new insert in here, but I'm going to try it and see what it's like. 
not too many RPMs on here. Now, hang on. Well, Murphy's definitely with me on this job. Silly simple job. But again, I query what this damn material is. It's really... I don't know if you can see some machining marks, even with a slow feed on there. But I just, uh, I just tried this parting tool, turning a spindle by hand to get the feel of it, to see what feed rate might help. And it just wants to chatter. I don't like it. So I'm going to do a classic cheat. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to take this lump out, take the steady off, and uh, go, go to the friggin' bandsaw. Take a slice off and then we'll uh, machine this face to, to tidy it up. I mean, it's all I want, for heaven's sake. It's just a thick walled three quarter whip there to fit the chuck. Yeah, it makes me wonder whether it's all worth it. I'll be back. <coughs> well, guys. <laughs> Can you hear that? Makes a slight scratch mark, but it's actually pretty hard. And I cannot think what it is. Somebody may have an inspiration as to what it might be. It's not 4140, I'm sure of that. I rather wish it had been. <laughs> it's it. I mean, anyway, I've got a cut on it. So I'm going to try and set this up. <laughs> 